Good morning, thank you for joining me for today's video. Back in August of last year, I published a video titled, Five Tips to Being a Classy Lady. When I published that video, my real thought process at the time was just to share five simple etiquette tips that I feel are very important, but I also feel that they are no longer emphasized by most people in society. I feel like it is a shame, but I don't think any of us can question that people's behavior and people's presentation has went to the wayside. It has taken a back seat. I know this because so many of you have reached out to me. I know this because I have observed it myself. What I want to share about the video that I published last August 17th of 2017 is that it has gotten over 840 thousand views. Yes, 840,000 views for that video. It continues to get viewed each and every day. I know this because every single day I spend a little bit of time checking my YouTube comments and every single day I have comments on that video. Many of you have found me on YouTube because of that video. What that means is that video, because of its views and because it has gotten so high on SEO, it becomes a recommended video. So many people find me because this video is recommended to them. The other thing that I want to share is that I have received over 2,300 comments on that video and I have read each in every one and I have somehow replied to each and every comment on that video. What I have found out through reading through my comments is that there is a real desire and a real need and a real want from people to be classy, to have good behavior, to know how to act in certain situations to know how to present yourself in certain situations. Along with that, I have had many requests to branch off of that video and do a whole series of etiquette videos. And I am going to do that. I have a lot to say about dining etiquette. There's many other areas that we can go into. There's skills for job interviews, so many places that we can take this. What I wanna talk about today is First impressions. First impressions are not made in minutes. A first impression is made in seconds. So we are going to talk today about some tips and skills to utilize to help improve the quality of that first impression and what it is that you are trying to portray. What is the message that you are trying to convey? When it comes to first impression, there are two things that are recognized right away. And when I say right away, again, this is not in minutes, this is in seconds. The first one is the exterior, which is going to be your personal style. The second one is going to be the interior, and this is going to be your behavior. When it comes to exterior, I like to break it down into four categories. Personal grooming, dress, body language, and facial expression. Think about it for a moment. When you see someone walk into a room, your first impression is made right then and there without them even having to open their mouth. You are looking at the outward presentation. You are looking at how well they are groomed. You are looking at what they are wearing and you are watching their body language and their facial expressions, even if you are not aware that you are doing this. When it comes to these four things, it is very important because that is the very first thing people are going to know about you. The interior could be spot on, but the exterior is going to be the first thing that is going to be noticed on you. Personal grooming. Let's talk about how you look, how well you're groomed. Your hair. How does your hair look? You don't have to keep up with the latest trends. That may help, but you want to at least make sure that it's maintained. You're getting your hair cut and trimmed often. You don't want flyaways going all over. It helps to have something that's more modern for today, 
but something that flatters you. The most important thing is that it's put together because you're being judged. Whether you like it or not, you're being judged. There's an opinion being formed right away. How does your makeup look? Doing over the top makeup where it's drawing too much attention to you, that's not always a good choice. You want you as a person, as a whole, to stand out. You don't want one thing standing out on you. You want the whole package to look well. How does your outfit look? Are you wearing something that is flattering for you? Is it, is it ironed? Is it pressed? Is it maintained? I think maintaining our clothes is one of the biggest things that we can do. Do you keep your nails looking nice? People see our hands. Our hands are an expression of us, so keeping your nails well manicured, very important. But the biggest thing is how are you portraying yourself with body image in your facial expression when you walk into a room? How is your posture? Ladies, when we stand up straight, we elongate our body and we look leaner. <laughs> Why not? Why not try to look leaner? We all know we want to drop at least five pounds, if not more. Why not stand up nice and tall? This is also when you're sitting. You want to stand up, you want your shoulders back. You don't want to be closed in. If you're closed in with your shoulders, it shows. And it shows that you lack confidence. You want to put your shoulders back. You want to stand tall and have good posture. It is very recognizable to the eye when somebody is walking with good posture. They look very confident. What is your facial expression? When you walk into a room, keep your chin up, look around, have confidence, make eye contact with people. If you are in a conversation with someone, make eye contact with them. It's very important. Don't be looking over their shoulder or looking around. That right there will leave an impression. You want to be smiling. You don't want to go in with a frown on your face. Always portray confidence. It takes practice if you're not used to it, but you will get it. Practice it every time you walk into a room because remember, in just seconds, an opinion is being made of you. A judgment is being made of you whether you like it or not. When it comes to interior, our behavior is key and a lot of that goes along with communication. You know I'm a big, strong advocate for communication. How is your listening skills? Are you listening with intent? Are you speaking with mindfulness? I am definitely going to be getting more videos out on communication skills because that is a whole series in itself. I know many of you have also asked for me to do a video on small talk. These are wonderful things that can leave a lasting impression. One of the most important things that I want to share with you is if you want to get others to say yes to you, you have to learn to say yes to yourself. Are you someone that you would say yes to? And I don't just mean in business or in the workplace. This is in everyday relationships. This is in everyday social settings. If you want someone to see a poised, confident, classy, sophisticated person, you have to be able to say yes to yourself. That confidence that you exuberate will show and it will allow other people to see that. They'll see what you are trying to portray, the message that you are trying to convey, and they will say yes to you. I hope you found this video helpful. The other thing that I want to share about my five tips to being a classy lady video, I can clearly see that we as a society want to improve. We want to get back to this. The keyboard courage that goes on and the only communication skills that we have are with a keyboard these days. We don't get to go out there and practice our communication skills, our listening skills. We don't get to practice small talk. It all takes a back seat and what is happening is the next generation is not even learning these skills. But the message is clear by the comments and the views that I've received that people want this. We want to get back to that place. We want to get back to a thriving society where people are not walking around doom and gloom Debbie Downers all the time. 
but it can only start with you making those changes and it is all going to start with your presentation and saying yes to yourself so others can say yes to you as well. Stay tuned. Eventually we will have more videos on this topic. I will be covering communication, all sorts of different etiquette skills. Be sure to check out that video. The other funny thing about the classy lady video is I almost didn't even publish it. I was still a pretty new YouTuber and it's been a learning curve for me. I am not really skilled at all of this editing and photography and filming. I'm still kind of winging it, if that's the way to put it. When I did the classy lady video, I had just recently learned how to do some edit work where you could chop out a section if you took a breath. For instance, I just paused. You could chop that out. <laughs> that was my first video that I experimented with chopping out anytime I paused. Well, I got pretty happy with my chopping out, <laughs> to say the least, and it became a very choppy video. And when I was all done with the editing, I said, Tracy, this is a train wreck. You can't, you can't, you can't send this out. But I asked myself, is the message there? Is the content that you are trying to get out there? And I said, it is, it is. It's not perfect, it's not perfect, but the message is there and the message is clear. So I ran with it. And I was so on the fence not to, and I am so thankful that I did because so many of you are here because of that. And we have a community that wants to get better and be better. And we all know that it starts inward. It starts with us. We can't help anybody else if we're not helping ourselves first. We have to be the ones to make the change. And clearly, clearly, with 480 views on a botched video, this is something that is wanted. So practice. It's not about perfection. We're not going to perfect it. We're not going to nail it all the time. But the more we practice, the better we will get. The more we will be able to say yes to ourselves, and therefore others will be able to say yes to us as well. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.